What's up my meatballs? It's Aaron Marr. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time we fought the Parasite Cage here in Monstro after being swallowed by the whale Monstro himself. And we found out that Riku is here along with Pinocchio and his father Geppetto. But Riku has stolen Pinocchio from Geppetto in order to maybe try and see if that can help restore Kairi's heart. So, now we've learned the ability High Jump, we'll be able to access the next portion of Monstro. But first things first, we want to do some uh, item collecting here in the forefront mouth of uh, Monstro. Now that we have High Jump, because I feel like I just said that, but we cannot get most of these, if not any of these, before because we uh, did not have the height necessary to reach half of this crap. So. Now we can go ahead and get all these treasure chests and things. You can see that there's a, a green trinity over there, which we'll probably be getting at the end of the episode, or maybe soon. I don't know, that's one of the difficult ones to get. Alright, get up there. No, I guess we can get up here? Yeah. Alright, blue trinity for the win. Ah, uh, there we go. Drops a little bit of money, but mostly drops a cottage and a potion. Stuff I rarely use. Stuff that rarely gets used at all in the game. Alright, hop up there. Hop up there. And there is another treasure chest, which is a water gleam. Which I believe is another, uh... Uh... A summon... Summon trophy? Summon block thing? I think they're called summon trophies. I have no idea, though. And I believe this is the final... There we go, Dalmatians. The final treasure chest that we can get. We can also get that green trinity, but we'll go ahead and get that later. So now that we're up here... And go ahead and head this way and head over here because Riku was up here last episode so we want to go the same way and head into the throat all right so now there's gonna be a lot of heartless in here don't be fooled you uh, don't have to defeat these heartless to get into the next area it's helpful to get into the next area because, uh, or it's helpful to defeat these, I should say. Because now we can, once they're all destroyed, we can actually use this blue trinity over here. But, other than that, there's no reason to attack unless you want experience. You can also find, uh, bouncy mushrooms. I think they're called bouncy wilds in here. Um, and those are another way of earning experience, which we'll have to discuss in a later episode. Oh, come on, hitting all that crap. I'm, always, I'm saving stuff for later episodes because I'm trying to make this as comprehensive as possible So talking about it now would just make people mad when I don't cover it in the video So and it would make people mad because I've already covered it Quote-unquote for those who are actually like, following along So uh, I just I'm saving it for the end of, for the special video So you know it's more you can it's quicker to go to you don't have to click through a whole episode to get to uh, brand new or to learn about an enemy or whatever. It's just skip to the part of the, that video that has the enemy in it But you know, I guess it's sort of the same thing, but I don't know. It's informative regardless. All right. Oh crap. Come on. See this is another annoying thing You have to there we go. All right hop up to the stomach Unnatural jumping Hey let Pinocchio go, Riku! A puppet that's lost its heart to the heartless. Maybe it holds the key to helping Kairi. How about it, Sora? Let's join forces to save her. We can do it together. What? You'd rather fight me? Over a puppet that has no heart? Heart or no heart, at least he still has a conscience. Conscience? You might not hear it, but right now it's loud and clear. And it's telling me you're on the wrong side! Then you leave me no choice. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Germany, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I guess I'm okay! Huh? Run, Pinocchio! Alright, so now we have to fight 
the actual parasite cage. And this fight is a lot more difficult than the first one. Because you'll notice that there's this all, gre all this green stuff around us. That stuff is actually HP sucking acid. Yeah, that's right. So if you even land in that, you begin losing HP. And there's, you know, no hope of getting it back. And a lot of the Parasite Cage's moves revolve around knocking you back in hopes of landing you in that green stuff. And obviously you don't want to. Watch out. It'll, it'll spray that stuff at you that will also poison you. So a, a lot of this relies on uh, not so much it doing HP damage to you, but it doing status ailments that then in turn do HP damage to you. So you really want to make sure that you keep your cure up. Uh, it's also not a bad idea to bring ethers or maybe an elixir or two, but um, you definitely want to be wary of that. See, uh, you'll notice that I was I had like full health, but then I hit the green stuff and it sort of took some of my HP away. So you want to make sure that that is something you want to make sure. I, well, I don't know what I was going to say there. Uh, these side things are uh, good, but you want to be careful because it will follow you around and try and knock you off of those as well. So your best, your best bet is just to use uh, arrow and just start attacking it. Occasionally it'll knock you back, but you just gotta keep keep trucking and keep using a uh, cure and arrow. It gives you plenty of MP, especially at this point in the game where your uh, MP bar isn't incredibly high. So you have, you, you're not gonna, if, if you're constantly attacking it, you're not going to have to deal with uh, running out of MP because you see, I'm I'm using arrow, which does two uh, two MP bars. And see, I'm already back full at full MP. So there's that. All right. So I can go ahead and use arrow again. But right now, oh, especially now that he's knocked out a little bit. There's a chain that you can do where if you hit him and then like you you, you hit a part that counters your hit, uh, you can get a never-ending chain of him being knocked out. It's really hard to pull off. I pulled it off unintentionally a couple times. But oh crap! See, now now we're poisoned. Alright, so this is where some things get difficult. So I'm gonna heal and then cast arrow. Alright. This should be. Now we should be okay. Unless he manages to pull that move off again. Which is completely possible, considering. But no, there we go. Alright, so we're all leveled up and max uh, AP or whatever, we get a thousand experience. So, Kyrie's like a lifeless puppet now? Precisely. And her heart was... Taken by the heartless, no doubt. Tell me, what can I do? There are seven maidens of the purest heart. We call them the princesses of heart. Gather them together, and a door will open to the heart of all worlds. Within lies untold wisdom. There, you will surely find a way to recover Kyrie's heart. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. Soon, Kyrie. Soon. Alright, I'm sure Pinocchio and Geppetto are okay. Yeah, hopefully they landed safely somewhere. Riku. Alright, so Monstro has successfully spat us out, I guess because we healed him of his cold. So now that we're in Agrabah, um, let's go ahead and go to the Select World screen. And, we can go ahead, we can go to the next world. Oh, there's a tournament being held at Coliseum. Thanks for sharing! All right, so I actually want to go to Traverse Town because there's a couple things we can do there. I actually want to see if that water gleam was, in fact, a 
summon trophy or a summon stone, summon gem. I think summon gem. That's it. That's it. All right. So I do want to see if, su if uh, summon. Uh, you know what I just said. All right. So let's go ahead and spawn ourselves at the first district here, or rather land in the first district. And we can go ahead and explore a bit. All right. Bum, 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 bum. All right, love Traverse Town music. You know, it's totally off key there. All right, so let's head to the third district first. Third district from the first district. Third district first. Get it? Ha ha ha! I'm so funny. I'm so funny. All right. And you'll notice that there's tons of heartless here now. All right. Now we want to head to Merlin. I actually want to go to Merlin. Because that's where we... I can't, why didn't I just land there? I'm retarded. Alright. So let's go this way. Alright. Jump and jump and jump and jump. Do, do, do. Alright, heading to the magician study. I really should have just landed here. I guess I'm not intelligent, but whatever. Alright, let's go see if Merlin has something to say to us. Nope. Alright, so now we can... Go see the fairy godmother and see if she has anything to say to us. If she just tells us that she's worried about Cinderella, I'm gonna fight her right here and now. Alright, let's see. Oh, another summon gem. There we go. Let's up this little one. Bibbidi bobba dee boo! And we get Dumbo. Alright, excellent. So now we've added the Simba, Genie, and now Dumbo. Excellent. Okay, so. Now that that's done, let's see if there's anything to do around Traverse Town. I didn't expect this episode to go so short. I wanted to go to Traverse Town anyway, but I did not expect it to be, you know, like only a 10 minute episode so far. So, let's go ahead and head into the third district. And we'll head back to the first district. Um, I might go ahead and uh, activate the green trinity, just like uh, Goofy told us that we should back the last two episodes ago, I think now. When we first unlocked the ability to have green trinity. Or unlock the uh, the green trinity power, I guess. Alright. So... Come here, you. Awesome. Look, they're dropping items left and right. And this will be important for item synthesis, which we're about to explain, so I don't feel bad about spoiling it anymore. So, let's head to the... This area. The accessory shop. Hooray. We also go and see if there's any new items for Goofy and, uh, what's his face? Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up a bit. And now go ahead and use the Green Trinity ability. Which lets us, lets us stand on each other's shoulders. Which doesn't make any sense, because as if we needed, like, a Trinity ability to do that. So let's head up the ladder. And we can talk to this weird thing. We can use your items to make unusual new items. Koopo, let us make something for you, Koopo. Bring back a bunch of items from your travels, Koopo. All right, so this is where you will be performing item synthesis, which is a big, not really a big part, but a big part of getting the Ultima weapon, which is the best weapon in the game, and also getting Stalmation 6, 7, 8, and 9, or whatever that's said, 7, 8, 9, I think. So you'll notice that when we kill enemies, some of them will drop different items. You'll notice that there are things like... Uh, Lucid shards and blaze shards and frost gems and mystery goos and mis mithril shards and ori chalcums and dark matters and things. And these are all items used for synthesis. And, and it'll actually say that in the description. Used for item synthesis, used for item synthesis, used for item synthesis, things like that. So that's what that's where this is important. We actually talk to this guy and say, let's synthesize and see. Now that we have a certain amount of items, it will turn into other items. So, for example, we have enough to make a Mega Potion, a Cottage, an Energy Bangle, and a Power Chain. Uh, I won't be making those because I like to do it all at once. But, um, you'll, so that's basically the idea behind item synthesis. And eventually, you'll complete more and more lists. And as more and more lists are completed, more and more lists are added. And then at that point, uh, you get, you know, more impressive items based on how far you are in the game and how many items you've or how many item synthesis materials you've collected. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a little complicated, which is why I'll be saving it for its own video, because for the addition of Final Mix, there's a lot of new enemies that drop uh, items that are specific to them, and they're, they only drop those those items. So uh, it becomes rather interesting and rather compl complex. 
So I'm going to go ahead and save on that. But you'll notice that there's a new house here, and you'll notice whose name is on it. Geppetto! So let's go ahead and hop inside and talk to him. Alright, Pinocchio? Hey, it's Sora! Well, hello, Sora! How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. And we get Geppetto, which is a gummy ship for us. But of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. All right, if we head over here, we actually pick up a new Keyblade, awesome, which is the Wishing Star. It actually lowers our strength, but always finishes up a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. So I think it's worth it. So there we go, there's the Wishing Star. Awesome, all right, we can actually go ahead and talk to Pinocchio, so he says. I'm studying real hard so I can become a real boy. I'm not fibbing, see? My nose is just the same. All right. Jiminy Cricket is helping you out and so is your father. Ah, Sora, look what I've cooked up this time. And there's another item or thing. Sid is... Let me see if he gives another one. Because I don't know why he wouldn't... Oh, he's giving us a ton? Awesome. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to read that one. I spammed X too quickly. All right, so that's it. Uh, I believe there's something we can examine here. Yes, and then we get a postcard. I think, no, we can't get all the postcards yet. So I'm gonna be saving those postcards to get the remaining postcards, which it just gives you some, uh, like a, a slew of interesting items and things. Um, but yeah, now we've got the wishing star. Have I opened this chest? I forget. I, every time I come here, I always wonder if I've opened the chest. Oh, there's a postcard again. All right, cool. So we've got a good number of postcards. Let's see if there's anything to do in the second district. I doubt there is. I think there's just going to be Heartless here. Um, let's see. Oh, actually, there's an, uh, one of the item-specific Heartless that I was actually talking about before we talked to Geppetto. So I'm going to run away and not talk to him. Or not talk to... not fight him, I guess. Anyways, so since I guess that's all we're going to be able to do this episode, I'm going to end the episode off. Which makes sense, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so thank you all for watching this wonderful monstro episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Next time, we'll be heading to the world we actually intended to head to, which is uh, the one right after Agrabah. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day, my friends. I don't know why I ended it that way.